Hello, my name is Tamara Meher. I'm a premier field engineer specialized in SharePoint, and I'm joined here by the legendary, legendary. the absolute <laughs> legendary, Kirk Evans. Um, I'll, I'll turn it over to Kirk so he can uh, introduce himself. Kirk? Hey guys, uh, my name is Kirk Evans. I'm a principal premier field engineer with Microsoft. I've been with Microsoft for about 10 years, past three in PFE. Prior to that, I was in developer platform evangelism where I used to be on kind of the other side of the camera. I did more <laughs> stuff on Channel 9 and blogs, and now uh, that torch and baton has been kind of passed. So thank you very much for having me. Thank you for, for being on the show. Thank you, Kirk. Um, so this is a great opportunity for us to actually link up with Kirk to talk about uh, uh, some of the exciting work that he's been doing in recent weeks. Uh, Kirk has been actually touring the globe, uh, delivering what's called an Ignite training. And what I'd like to do is ask you, uh, what is Ignite Training all about and how does that contribute to the new version of SharePoint 2013? Oh, sure. The uh, Ignite Training was led by the, the SharePoint product team where they put together uh, tr this bundle of training that they first delivered to the internal field resources such as Premier Field Engineering and Microsoft Consulting Services to help train up a very small set of individuals to help support the product. And then they targeted some of our TAP and early adopter customers to be able to um, make them more productive as they started to ramp up on 2013 and, and some of their early adopter plans. And then we quickly started including partners. So the latest set of deliveries that we've been doing has been targeted towards our partner community to help them prepare for SharePoint 2013 as well. So my role has been I, I help support both the IT pro uh, side of Ignite training as well as the uh, as the developer and this week uh, I'm here with Tamara and we're um, delivering the uh, delivery for developer for our premier field engineering group. Wonderful, thank you so much um, Kirk. So so I have to ask you, um, with the new rollout of SharePoint 2013 I know there's a lot of buzz and a lot of excitement yeah. about the um, apps, SharePoint 2013 apps. Yeah. Uh, could you elaborate a little bit more on that? What's the advantages of um, going with apps as opposed to the conventional uh, WSP package type custom solutions that typically execute on the server side? Yeah, well, while there's a lot of benefits uh, to it, I'll first start out with that, admittedly, it is a, it is a change in mindset. Okay. It is shifting our, our expectations of how we develop and build upon SharePoint. And that, one of the cool things about apps is it helps us to get the server code off the server and push it in somewhere else. Okay. So uh, the, the tagline that I use during my deliveries is usually an app is really a pointer to something else. Okay. And since it's a pointer to something else, it means an app really doesn't live in SharePoint. It's simply we click on something in SharePoint and we are redirected to the something else. Okay. And something else is my own server, uh -huh. it can be an Azure site, it can be an Azure site that was automatically provisioned um, by the by SharePoint framework. Uh, especially in apps also work not only on premise, but in Office 365 with really the same nice. code. Yeah. So now I can even, what the really cool thing about apps isn't necessarily the execution model, uh -huh. we now have a marketplace. Okay. That means devs, if you want to, if you want to build solutions before, really didn't have a way to get them out. It didn't have a way to sell them and make money. So if you you built this really cool sandbox solution, your marketing was kind of up to you and no way to get in front of customers very easily. Well now with the new app model, we have an office marketplace that allows you to upload, upload your app and literally have millions of users be able to discover and purchase your app. So new monetary op opportunities. Personally, that's the part that I'm really excited it's about. It's definitely exciting times for SharePoint developers, um, particularly that now we've unleashed the power of client-side execution, yeah. where we can write more sophisticated um, business logics into you know, our own hosted applications, or whether it be uh, somewhere else, as you mentioned, or in the cloud, or you know, yeah. on your own dedicated set of servers, right? Which is, I mean, that's one of, my, it's one of the best advantages that, that this new app model, execution model brings is because we're not limited to just the same ASP.NET uh, forms execution model that we've had for so long. We've heard developers that say, I want MVC, I want, um, I want to use .NET 4, I want to use Workflow, I want to use, heck, I don't even want to use that stuff, I want to use Node.js, I, I want to use PHP, I want to be able to use whatever I want on whatever platform I want, but maybe leverage some of the benefits of SharePoint. And that's exactly what the app model brings to us. The ability for us to 
um, have our have our execution logic sitting on our own server, but to interact and, and, and interact with SharePoint through messaging, client side object model, RESTful queries. We even have an eventing framework that allows you to interact with SharePoint, but not necessarily install code on SharePoint. And that's the benefit that we have not only on premise, but take it to the cloud because it's no secret that we're moving aggressively towards the cloud. And as, as that continues to happen, apps will be the extensibility framework for SharePoint going forward. So, so to also to just give our audience a little bit of peace of mind, does that mean that we're deprecating uh, server-side execution uh, as far as no, custom code? No, thank you for so asking So that's that. not the case, right? So I want to no. make sure that we bring that up. No, absolutely not. It, apps is a choice. Now, if you're targeting for SharePoint Online, apps is is the choice. There, we really don't have in, in our in a shared environment an ability to install server-side code. Um, so our, our option introduced in SharePoint 2010 was sandbox solutions, um, but that that had a bunch of limitations, particularly with uh, with you know having the partial trust and developers just said too limited for what I want to do. Right. So right. apps introduces yet a third option. Farm solutions are still there. SP web application, SP site, SP web, SP list, all the objects that you've been using for years still continue on. Um, your, your solutions that you built, SharePoint 2010, um, will most likely upgrade. There may be some tweaks for UI components, but the base, frame, the base logic and the base, uh, base components should upgrade just fine. Okay. Um, so that leaves us with, we have the farm solutions, and then we have this new option of apps. of apps. We also mentioned that sandbox solutions have been deprecated. There's some confusion about what does deprecated mean here. And I'm just here on camera, I want to point out the obvious fact, sandbox lives on in SharePoint 2013. It is still there. It's still a choice. It's one of three choices that you have for extensibility. So we have farm solutions, we have apps, those are the two preferred models. Sandbox solution is being deprecated. What we're saying is it's in the current version, but it's being deprecated. It's no longer a target for development. We actually suggest for new, for new development that you not target the sandbox, that you move towards either apps or farm solutions. That's absolutely exciting. Um, so with that, I know you're quite busy and you have a lot on your plate right now uh, supporting the new launch of SharePoint 2013. Um, I, I do want you to mention your blog, um, your oh, yeah. and your I want Twitter traffic. handle. <laughs> Blogs.msdn.com slash K.A. Evans, as well as Twitter.com, also K.A. Evans. So K.A. Evans on blogs.msdn.com, as well as Twitter. Certainly follow um, Kirk Evans' um, blog and uh, Twitter handle to get the latest and greatest on the uh, new version of SharePoint. Uh, with that, I thank you so much, um, Kirk. It's always a pleasure to speak with you, and I look forward to re future recordings with you. Great. Thanks, Damon. Thank you very much.